Hey everybody, and welcome to day eight. I'm Kevin Wheel, and I lead product for OpenAI. Today, we're going to be talking about ChatGPT Search. So we rolled out Search about two months ago for our paid users. Uh, Search gives ChatGPT the ability to access real-time information and, of course, the ability to search the web for answers. I can't imagine ChatGPT without Search now. I use it so often, and I'm excited to be bringing it to all of you starting today. So there are three things that we're going to announce today. First, we've been listening to your feedback over the last couple months and just have made Search better. So that means uh, it's faster, it's better on mobile, there are some new maps experiences, and so on. Second, we're making it possible to search as you talk to ChatGPT. So that means you know, we, we rolled out uh, video and Santa mode in advanced voice mode last week. Now we've integrated search as well, and we'll demo that in a second. And third, most importantly, we're bringing search to all logged in free users of ChatGPT. So that means it'll be available globally on every platform where you use ChatGPT. So with that, let's dive in. Hi, I'm Adam Fry. I'm the product lead for Search at OpenAI, and I'm here with Christina. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm leading the engineering and applied research team building Search technology. I'm super excited to be here with you and hope you'll enjoy the demos. So we're super excited to share about uh, rolling out to all free users logged in globally, and I'm going to give you a short demo to showcase what that looks like. So to search in ChatGPT, it's the same ChatGPT.com that you already know. So if you go to ChatGPT.com, or if you go to the iOS or iPhone app or Android app, all the platforms, you can just start searching right from the main composer bar, this area where it says message ChatGPT. So I'm going to show what it looks like to search in ChatGPT. So you just start typing a query that you might type into a traditional search engine. So let's say, what are some good events in San Francisco this weekend? So as you type that, if I hit the Enter button here or press Send, ChatGPT will automatically decide whether this question requires up-to-date information from the web. So it can automatically determine that. However, we also added this Search the Web icon. So if you explicitly click this button, ChatGPT will always use the latest up-to-date information from the web. So let's give it a shot. OK, so it's searching the web, and you get back an answer. And you're going to see rich visual images and lists here in a way directly in ChatGPT. Oh, let's check out Let's Glow SF. Yes, so Let's Glow SF, or let's see, let's see what else we have here. Some SantaCon. SantaCon. Yeah, so if you see here, you go to Fun Cheap SF, it'll actually show you where it's coming from. So you can just go out to the website that you want to get to. And if you click here, you can also see the rich visual image. And you can go see all the other ones as well. And what's really unique about ChatGPT search is the conversational nature. So if you actually just talk to it, you can actually start asking other questions about it. So it's been really rainy here in San Francisco. Uh, what are some other things that we might be able to do? Maybe a movie. Yeah, let's go to a movie. Maybe I would like to go to Gladiator too. That's a really good idea. I like Gladiator. I've actually seen Gladiator, so maybe we pick something else. Kevin. Wicked or? Lion King. Lion King? OK, cool. Uh, that sounds great. It's a great movie for the family. So. What do you mean for the family? <laughs> you asked me what I wanted to see. <laughs> uh, Lion King is great for us, too. So show me the trailer for the new Lion King movie. I actually don't remember the name of it. So let's see what we get. So here, we scroll down. We get great, rich visual images. Uh, Mufasa, the Lion King from Disney. And right within ChatGPT, you can just start playing the video. So we're really just making the ChatGPT experience that you know better with up-to-date information from the web. So to recap, we're rolling this out to hundreds of millions of users starting today, all logged in for users globally, anywhere that you have ChatGPT. So there's two other features that I'm going to showcase today. So one is, since our launch to Plus users, we've been really surprised at how many people are really excited to use this as their default search engine in their browser. And so what you can do is you can just go to the top. Let me show you. You just go here to the top and actually click here and make it your default search engine. So I've already done that. So let's say you just want to get to where you're going on the web. So let's say you type Netflix. So today, we're just making it a lot faster when you know where you want to go on the web. So ChatGPT gives you great, highly relevant answers with clear cited sources. But sometimes you really just want to go somewhere. And that's what we're making faster. So let's try something like hotel booking websites right from the browser bar. So now, those sites will come in ahead of the rest of the answer. So you can just go to wherever you might want to go to and see all the links in line from the sidebar as well. So this is ChatGPT Search, and this is faster web navigation directly from the browser bar. 
listening to the feedback that we've heard, which is at sometimes it can be a little bit too slow. So I'm going to showcase one last new feature from ChatGPT Search that we've been iterating on. And this one is on mobile. So we're optimizing the mobile phone experience for ChatGPT Search based on user feedback, which is we've seen so many users using it on our iPhone apps and Android apps. So let me show you. So uh, Christina, what's, what's your favorite question for this new experience? I really like using it for finding food places. And uh, let's think about food. Well, this week, uh, you know our office is in the Mission neighborhood. And this week, we are busy shipping. So why don't you look for uh, Mexican restaurants in the Mission neighborhood? OK. Uh, let's see. Mexican food, or let's say what? are Autocrat. some good, yeah, autocorrect <laughs> is always a trouble. What are some good Mexican food restaurants in the mission? Oh, I can't type today. Cool. So we send, and what ChatGPT will do is it'll go out and it'll look at the web to find the best restaurants in the mission. OK, that's pretty standard. But what you can see now is directly within ChatGPT, you're going to have a rich visual list of, of images and businesses and updated hours. So let's say I click on La Taqueria. You can actually see all the information, directions, websites, call, and descriptions of the business, open hours, and more. Actually, I forgot to mention I really like the outdoors patio ones. And also, San Francisco is cold right now. So if we can look for the ones with outdoors patio and heaters would be better. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Let's do that. So what about some with outdoor patios and heaters? And so what's neat about this, and I'm glad you, you mentioned this, is because basically ChatGPT's intelligence will just understand conversationally and the context throughout the conversation. So I don't have to edit any keywords or edit my query. I can just type and chat with it like a normal person. As you can see here, it's picked up on this. The Mission District offers several Mexican restaurants with outdoor patios equipped with theaters. So do any look good? I like the first one. Okay. Uh, I like that the heater is right in the photo, so <laughs> nice. it's good that I know it's there. And also, Patia looks nice. That's super cool. Yeah, so what I love about this is it really showcases the intelligence of ChatGPT. So right in the About section of this business, you can see the open air patio is equipped with heaters and windscreens, ensuring comfort year round. So it's the type of search that really ChatGPT does super well. And if you click the Map button here, you can also see all of these businesses right in the iPhone app with the native uh, Apple Maps as well and click around. So a fully uh, native Apple Maps experience right here with ChatGPT's intelligence. Super cool. Awesome. So I'm going to pass it to Christina to showcase the next feature. Yeah. The next feature we are going to announce is related to enabling search in voice. What it means is that, and this feature we are going to roll out in the next few days. So what it means is that you can access up-to-date web information by talking with uh, ChatGPT. And I will be showing to you how exactly it's working. So you go to advanced voice mode. You press that wave icon. Hey, Chat, how are you? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? We are doing great. We are doing now a live stream demonstrating a new feature that you have. And we are going to show to everyone that you can access up-to-date web information. Can you help me with that? Sure. I'd love to help. Just let me know what you need me to do. Well, I'm traveling to Switzerland for holidays. Can you tell me what's happening in Zurich for the December 23rd week this year? During the week of December 23rd, 2024, Zurich will have plenty of festive activities. The Christmas markets, including the one at the main station, will be open until December 24th. You can also enjoy the singing Christmas tree at Wordmulleplatz with concerts until December 23rd. Circus Canelli, a popular Christmas circus, runs through December 31st. The Illuminarium at the National Museum will also feature a light and music show until December 30th. It's going to be a magical time. That sounds fun. Can you tell me the, can you look up the opening days and hours for the Christmas market at Main Post? The Christ Kindle Mart at Zurich Main Station runs from November 21st to December 24th, 2024. It's open daily from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
with extended hours until 10 p.m. on Thursdays through Saturdays. On December 24th, it closes early at 4 p.m. It's a wonderful place to enjoy the festive spirit. Thank you. Looking forward to go there. Actually, I'm a little worried that if it's too cold, can you tell me what's the weather in Zurich today? Today in Zurich, expect partly sunny skies with a high of 47 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 29 degrees. It's currently clear and around 5 degrees Celsius. Don't forget to bundle up. Hey, chat. Uh, Christina's Zurich trip sounds very cool, but I'm actually going to New York. Do you know any family-friendly events the week of December 20th in New York this year? In New York City on December 20th, 2024, there are several family-friendly events. The New York Botanical Gardens Holiday Train Show features model trains and miniature NYC landmarks. The Radio City Christmas Spectacular, starring the Rockets, is a festive favorite. The Bank of America Winter Village at Bryant Park also offers ice skating. Hey, Chad, and those three are actually perfect. I went to the Holiday Train one as a kid. However, I really like the Union Square Markets. When is the Union Square Market open till? The Union Square Holiday Market in New York City runs from November 14th to December 24th, 2024. It's open Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Nice. Close That's really good. I actually really interrupted Christina's vacation planning, <laughs> so I'm going to pass it back to her. No worries at all. I'm glad I could help. Christina, if you need more info about Zurich, just let me know. Chat, I have uh, one last question for you. So I would like to be able to speak with locals in their native language. Can you teach us how to say Merry Christmas in German, French, and Italian? Absolutely. In German, you can say Frohe Weihnachten. In French, it's Joyeux Noël. And in Italian, you say Buon Natale. Joyeux Noël. Thank you. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. We're super excited to see uh, how you use search. So just to recap, we launched three things today. First, based on a bunch of feedback from all of you, we made, a bunch, we made a number of improvements to search. It's faster, it's better on mobile, there are new maps experiences. Please keep giving us that feedback. We love it, it helps us make the product better. Second, we integrated search and advanced voice mode. So now you can search as you talk to ChatGPT. And third, and most importantly, we're starting today rolling out search to all logged in free users globally on every platform where you use ChatGPT. And about logged in free users. So you all know you don't need an account to use ChatGPT. You can just come and get started. But some of our best features like Search and Canvas, you do need an account for. It's all free, but you, you not just get an account, you get higher rate limits, so you get a much better product. So come in, get an account, try out everything that we're shipping here. Uh, we're super excited about it. So that's day eight. Happy searching, everybody. And if you're a developer, tomorrow is for you. So day nine, we will do a mini dev day. We've got a lot of exciting announcements, so we hope to see you there. Bye-bye. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.